One of the ripple makers is our award uh, recipient tonight. And uh, we'd like to call upon the mayor of Nashua who will come to present that award at this time. Well, I'm Jim Donches, the mayor of Nashua, and where Tom Hooker now resides and has for quite some time. And I won't, I'm just very glad to be here. Joining me from Nashua, a couple of very close friends, uh, Linda Gathright, uh, who uh, is a longtime citizen and activist in New Hampshire and in Nashua, Harvey Key. Uh, so we really uh, enjoy being here with, uh, with you to celebrate Tom Hooker. Now I was asked, and I want to thank the University of New Hampshire for hosting us uh, for, the, for the Black Heritage Trail for the opportunity to come in and honor Mr. Hooker. Now I was asked to say a little bit about my knowledge and, and history with Mr. Hooker, and I don't know if Linda and Harvey know this, but I first came to New Hampshire for a, my first real full-time job after I had started law school but was taking a year off. And I came, uh, my wife Vicki was uh, a native here in New Hampshire, and I came to the Division of Welfare to interview with the director for a position much lower down, but a position in, at the Division of Welfare. And that is when I met Tom Hooker because he interviewed me. And he, of course, was a very inspiring, charismatic leader at the time. And I, I, the interview was in 1973, so that was 44 years ago, I think. And of course, I still remember it because of this, this, the very strong impression he made on me at the time. And I think he hired me for this ministerial position on the spot. I came to Concord. Uh, we were in the, this building that's like a bowling alley. Uh, it was a former bowling alley on Loudon Road. Um, I got to meet Jim Bianco, who I'm sure remembers, uh, I know remembers Tom extremely well. He was a little higher up in the organization than me. Dick Sheverfield is here from, he worked in the Concord District Office for the Division of Welfare. Now, it was a very, very strange time, as strange in New Hampshire, maybe even worse than nationally now, because Governor Meldrum Thompson was the head of the New Hampshire state government. And I don't think he was any friend of Tom Hooker's, but Tom Hooker was, had, a, had a term of office. He had begun with uh, Walter Peterson, and so he had a term of office. And he presented uh, uh, as a, he, he did an extremely good job as, the, as uh, the head of the Division of Welfare. He was charismatic. He was a strong leader. He had idealism. Uh, and he accomplished a lot for the Division of Welfare. Uh, he did Medicaid and food stamp programs. He set up a network of his services for daycare, home care, and residential care programs. But at least for us working in the division, and I think uh, Jim and Dick can vouch for this, it was like this, you know, this, era, this oasis of sanity in a time of insanity at the state level. Because Meldrum Thompson uh, was espousing some extremely radical views at the time. He was extremely critical of Dr. Martin Luther King, for one thing. He went to he, Thompson. I'm just trying to recreate the kind of the atmosphere that Tom Hooker was thriving in, or trying to thrive. He, Meldrum Thompson, went to South Africa and praised, at the time, the system of apartheid. And I think he went in like 1968 or 9, sometime around then. Um, or I'm not quite sure of the year. Nelson Mandela was in jail at the time. He said that the New, the, the New Hampshire National Guard should have nuclear weapons. He put on a, a uniform and went over and personally arrested over a thousand protesters at the Seabrook nuclear power plant. But despite the very hostile uh, political environment that we resided in, those of us in the Division of Welfare who in no way agreed in any respect with what Mr. Thompson was doing, and I think Jim will bear it out, that didn't we get a memo saying you could not use 
No state employee could use the title Ms. MS for it. For it. So we weren't allowed to use Ms. We had to use Miss or Miss Misses in addressing letters and correspondence if you worked for the, anywhere in the state of New Hampshire. That's the kind of atmosphere that we were in. And yet Tom Hooker um, was not discouraged. Uh, he did not bow under to this pressure. He pursued the mission of the Division of Welfare through his charisma, his leadership, uh, and his imagination and intelligence. He transcended this, not only the political environment, but the bureaucracy in which he lived. And I consider it uh, you know, an honor to have worked for him and known him at that time. Later, he came to live in Nashua, so I've gotten to see him in uh, our community uh, over the years. His wife, Eleanor, was very active at Riviera University um, and was a, a, a significant community figure, as was Tom. Uh, of course, uh, you know, as you, as you know, um, Eleanor passed away a few years ago, but Tom has continued to live in our community. And uh, it's very sad that tonight he apparently is in the hospital and we wouldn't be able to we won't be able to see him, uh, but we, my wife and I were hoping to be able to do so, and I'm sure all of you were as well. Um, I know that Eleanor and Tom have done a lot for the Black Heritage Trail. Uh, they, um, I, I know we're significantly involved in the organization. Eleanor, uh, was, she was uh, the namesake for the winter tea talks that were uh, put on in honor of, honor of her by the B Black Heritage Trail organization. Um, so again, I'm just uh, very honored to be here. I'm, I'm to give, I was to give Tom the Citizen of the Year Award uh, from the Black Heritage Trail. Mr. Hooker is not here, so we, um, I was told that Dick Sheverfield is going to be the recipient in Tom's name and in his honor. Uh, and that's fitting because Dick worked for Tom way back uh, in uh, those days of, uh, of uh, Meldrum Thompson. And we hope that Meldrum Thompson eventually lost, so maybe today, maybe in this time at the national level, we'll, we'll be able to accomplish that same thing, which we keep our fingers crossed. So uh, anyway, um, Tom Hooker. So in honor of Tom, we're giving uh, uh, the Citizen of the Year Award uh, to Dick in his stead. And uh, I think Dick was going to say a few words as a longtime friend of Tom Hooker as well. Great. This is beautiful. Thank you, Jim. I'm just going to place it down here. For those of you who know Tom, he gave me 14 pages of thoughts he wanted me to share with you this evening. But I said, no, 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 I can't do that. Number one, I want to thank Jim Donches, the mayor of Nashua. And as Jim mentioned, we go back many, many years. I beat Jim by about five years. 1968 is when Tom hired me as a social worker to work in the city of Nashua, New Hampshire. Uh, and he wanted to express his appreciation to Jim and to Vicki uh, for sharing in this very, very special honor that you are uh, sharing with him this evening. Uh, and Jim, he wanted me to share with you a couple of thoughts about your leadership and your commitment to people through the work that you're doing in the city of Nashua. Uh, the work that you're doing in terms of the downtown Nashua project, uh, the revitalization of that Nashua and the whole Nashua community, not only buildings, but a revitalization of a commitment to people and an enthusiasm on behalf of all of the citizens of Nashua. He also mentioned, and this was a very special way, uh, the work that you're doing on the commuter rail uh, project. Uh, he said when Eleanor and he came back to New Hampshire, they were drawn to Nashua because of the potential of that commuter linkage between Nashua and Boston. And at that time, uh, Tom was uh, just then appointed as the regional director of the Administration on Aging for the Northeast region. Uh, and he feels uh, very appreciative of your leadership, your kindness, your sensitivity, and work on behalf of people uh, in the Nashua area. So thank you so very much. And thank you, Vicki, for being with us this evening. Um, to Tom's invitees, and it's kind of special for me, it was very special for me to come back tonight to have the opportunity to meet Tom, and you don't know how many of us are so disappointed, but we know that his spirit is here. Uh, and to his invitees, his friends, his colleagues, his family, uh, and especially to, uh, to uh, Florence and to Gail, 
uh, his niece and uh, niece-in-law, uh, Florence and Gail, for traveling some distance to be here this evening. And that's very, very special for him. I know how important family was to Tom in the years that I had the opportunity uh, to work with him. To the staff of the Division of Welfare, the Department of Health and Human Services, uh, colleagues that he's worked with over the years, friends and partners on behalf of people. Uh, Tom, thank you so very much for being here and joining with him in this special occasion this evening. Uh, and he has looked forward to seeing all of you and being part of the energy. And I must say, Dr. Wilburn, I was with you on Monday and I took that energy throughout the week. He's a force. He's an energizer. He's a powerful person. And he, you know, he said something tonight that just reinforced it for me, is that we must be risk takers. We, watch, we must reach out in new directions <coughs> and create new opportunities for all people. But you were very powerful tonight. You were very powerful on Monday. He doesn't get tired, Monday to Friday, no. Um, now, this is the last word, and I told you that I would only read one page, not 14. I apologize, I'm on my third page now. Uh, thanks for coming to my party, and this is to all of you. And each in your own way, uh, know Tom, and know the spirit of Tom. If I had uh, to encapitalize the Tom Hooker, Tom Hooker that I've known over the last 50 years, he's a pillar of hope. No matter where he landed, he planted the seeds of hope within the people that he worked with. He was kind, he was sensitive, he was a visionary, and he never forgot what the business was all about. It was about people. And that's the Tom Hooker that I know. And he thanks you so very, very much for joining in his celebration tonight and for being part of that celebration. Thank you all so very much. <laughs>